afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? Welcome to the Just Chatting Gaming News and Trailers for the week of January 21st. It's kind of a week full of bad news. Kind of kind of crazy. So let's uh let's get into it. Actually, before we get into it, I got to move one of my screens. There we go. Yeah, first story of the day. I don't know how many of you played the Marvel's Avengers game that's kind of an MMO-ish thing, but they announced that that game is essentially uh, losing full support. So you can see here that uh, update 2.8 on March 31st will be the final content feature update, and then official support will cease on September 30th of 2023. Now, they're not shutting down the servers, so both the single player and multiplayer uh, will continue to be available. I mean, but let's be honest, at some point they're going to shut the servers down and it's going to be a lost cause. But it, basically, this game is being put into the same state as Anthem. And frankly, I'm still surprised that Anthem is still up and running. But basically, just putting these games into maintenance mode and at some point down the road when they feel like they're just losing too much money, they'll go ahead and shut the servers down. Uh, final note, the Marketplace Challenge card and the Shipment Cosmetic content will be free to all players. And I believe there was another announcement also referring to like the cash shop and microtransactions and all that. And a lot of that stuff's going to be switched over to uh, free as well. I, n I never got a chance to play this game myself. It's always a game that I've wanted to. And it's on Game Pass. It's not going to cost me nothing. But I I've always heard the campaign is like pretty good. But it's like after that when it turns into like, oh, you have Iron Man and you need to grind Iron Man for gear and loot and all that fun stuff. That's where it's not the best. So, yep, the game's winding down is, is the best way to say it. All right, uh, switching over to the, uh, the next story. And this is kind of three different stories in one. Uh, it's been a weird week of just... Lots of people getting laid off and just madness. So you can see here from Jason Schreier, Microsoft is laying uh, off 10,000 people today. And that was a couple days ago at this point, including it's in its gaming division, such as Xbox and Bethesda. And then you can see uh, the mass layoff arrives exactly one year after Microsoft announced the plans to purchase Activision Blizzard for $69 billion. So... When it comes to the gaming part of that, again, they, they talk about Xbox and Bethesda. Apparently, on the Bethesda side, it was Starfield and Elder Scrolls Online that took the biggest hit. And again, I, I wish I could, like, find some actual numbers like, oh, you know, from the ESO team, there were 50 devs laid off. But you know, they're not going to officially release those numbers, I don't think. But... As far as the Xbox side, it was actually 343 Industries, the developer of Halo, which took the big hit. And there was a rumor going around for a while over the last couple days saying that 343 was going to hand off most, if not all, of Halo over to another company. And after that announcement... Um, was again rumored uh, 343 actually made a statement saying that Halo and Master Chief are here to stay 343 Industries will continue to develop to develop Halo now and in the future including epic stories multiplayer and more of what makes Halo great apologies uh, my voice is dying for some reason I don't know what's going on so as part of that, you also have uh, Joe Staten, who joined 343 Industries in 2020 to steer Halo Infinite uh, towards the finish line, also is leaving the studio and rejoining Xbox uh, Publishing. So just in general, just a lot of things like happening, a lot of things moving around. Uh, for, for me in particular, ESO, I, I'm very curious as to like how big of a hit the ESO team is going to take and it's also kind of funny that they mentioned the hit to the Bethesda Starfield team I mean at this point we know that game is 
probably 99% done. They're probably just working on, you know, optimization and bug fixes and all that fun stuff. So I wonder if that team was just massive and they're near the finish line. And so they were like, oh, we don't need all these people anymore. So we're just going to let them go. But still kind of kind of weird. And then the final uh, news story. Again, more layoffs, but this is more on the, the media side of thing. Uh, Vox Media, Fandom, uh, Giant Bomb, GameSpot, and, and some others uh, took some pretty massive layoffs. Uh, Giant Bomb in particular seemed to be the one that was trending in, in my circle anyway. Uh, there were some pretty big uh, people from, from that company that were let go and then back several months ago maybe even a year at this point when you had like brad shoemaker and Vinny and uh, alex navarro and, and those guys left and then jeff gershman left and so i i don't know how much longer giant bomb is gonna be around so i guess we'll see but yeah that company is not looking uh not looking too great especially when the core people are all gone all right let's go ahead and jump into trailer time Go ahead and kill the music here. We'll start out with uh, some launch trailers. So we have the launch trailer for Fire Emblem Engage. Mother! You must not allow them to capture any more of the rings. Gather together all 12 rings. This seems like a spoiler. Please! They're corrupted. They're everywhere. Divine One, you mustn't do this alone! This journey will be a long one. Our kingdom is in danger. Will you help us? I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I'm Diamant, Crown Prince of Brodia. I hope you're hungry for fun! Chat, I hope you're hungry for fun later. now take your lives. My friends, it's time to fight! You're in our way. Now stand aside! We have to rescue more than the others. <laughs> what did you just throw? A, a knife? That's a big gun. Many have sought to steal the rings and use them for their own nefarious purposes. Here he comes. The time has come. Arth! Or is that an emblem of legend? Yeah, part of me really wants to play this game. Each emblem has their own abilities. You but for the most part, people are saying that Three Houses is better, so I'm like, engage with I should just play Three Houses engage. again. Honestly, after we just got done with Midnight Suns, I don't think Twitch chat could take another 90 hours of a game like this. I think you guys would uh, kill me. Nintendo. All right, next up we have what is essentially the launch trailer for The King's Dilemma Chronicles. I think we've seen like one trailer on this game. So let's take a look. Welcome to the Kingdom of Ankist. You are the head of the King's Council, deciding the fate of all. Every decision you make may change the course of history. Will you deal with the menace of a foreign power with diplomacy or war? War. Will you defend the poor and oppressed, or serve the interests of the rich and powerful? Rich and powerful. Will you fund the pursuits of innovation and progress, or the search for precious ancient artifacts? Ancient artifacts. Will you dabble with forbidden knowledge, or support the preservation of traditions? Forbidden knowledge. Face hundreds of political dilemmas. Listen to the advice of the council members, or overrule their decisions. I will overrule them every time. Prepare for the final uprising, foreshadowed by an ancient prophecy. For the greater good, or think only of yourself, will you be able to carry the burden of responsibility? 
That game actually looks good. I need, I want to see some more on it. But yeah, that game looks looks interesting. All right, next up, uh, speaking of Midnight Suns, we have the good, the bad, and the undead DLC trailer. These vampires are getting out of control, and it's all Deadpool's fault. Don't be so harsh on him, Sarah. He's super brave and super awesome and super handsome. Wisecracking anti-hero. This is a robbery. Or... Well, guess what, everybody? Ah! Whatever. I'm adaptable. Jimmy, my frickin' chuggers. Mortals! A magna court ego is eternal! Blah, blah, blah. Quick! What? can be honest and say there wasn't the budget for it. Look, Ma, I'm going to be DLC. That looks ridiculous. Ridiculous, chat. All right, we have the official cinematic trailer for Hogwarts Legacy. Let's take a look. Take this. Find them. Legacy begins now. Hogwarts Legacy. Live the unwritten. Game comes out real soon. All right. We have the Wolong Final uh, Dynasty uh, story trailer. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. This is a game that I want to know more about. The Han Empire faces its final days. In these dark times, Elixir once again threatens to become the catalyst. This game's gonna be on Game Pass, too. That the dragons lying dormant across our land. A forbidden power. Are we Tecmo? This chaos, is it all his fault? How about it? Help me forge the ultimate elixir and join me in immortality. Help me find the Elden Ring. We must retake Puyan! Not Jadis. Every bit as strong as the rumors say. Father, he's hiding something. Master, have you any idea who the Tal's to top the dragon was? We may 
may simply need to track down the source of demonic chi. We are getting overrun! You should do likewise! In the end, people will prioritize their own desires. Friendship and the like are not to be trusted in. For what purpose do you wage for your life? I will redeem myself by offering up this life! The power to control this world lies in none other than this resplendent crimson glow. I wonder if they have a combat trailer out. I'd like to know more about how the I combat can't. works. I won't kill him. Hey, Rafferty. Long fun. Uh, yeah, they, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm out. Oh, oh. There's more of the trailer. I didn't know. Hold on. That's an Elden Ring boss right there. There you go. March 3rd. Comes out, what, a week before Fallen Order or something like that? Or not Fallen Order, but uh, Jedi Survivor. All right, two trailers left. We have a brand new trailer for Endless Dungeon. Let's take a look. Heads up, kids. Party time. Stay in formation. Smells bad in here. And it's gonna get worse. Got movement. Shh, quietly. Me? Quiet? Don't worry. Quiet time never lasts long. <sighs> Have a look, see, little buddy. Happier now, Zed. Oh, yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah, we've seen this game a bunch of times. Kinda like an ARPG team based game. it yet? No? No date? Okay. It's probably also going to be on Game Pass. Alright, final trailer of the day is for a new game that just got announced. There was a surprise live stream from Paradox a couple days ago. And they're like, we're going to announce something. And this is what they announced. Peggy 16. I don't know if anybody's ever played this series. I have not. Age of Wonders 4. And they're like, boom, release date, soon. Very, very cool. Seems like it would be my kind of game. But yeah, I've never played any of them. All right, for those who are watching on YouTube, that'll go ahead and do it for the video. So thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.